to Big Ten opponents, Illinois and Michigan. Now, the good thing about Ohio is that they catch all three of those whom they lost to a year ago at home. Iowa has not won in Columbus since 1959 and has won 17 of the last 18. I don't know whether that was intentional, but the short kick is taken by Ohio State and moving it up to the 22. Or First and 10, we've just begun from Ohio Stadium. This is Lanise in motion. Tom Zach on a give to Roman Bates. Slashes up for five. Seems they always do have. <laughs> and Tom Zach rifles it out to the side. And Lanise makes the catch at about the 34-yard line. Ball control. Keep it on the ground. Just mix it up with a sprinkling of passes. And keep that other team's defense out there as long as possible. Wear him down. Cross buck, and it's Roman Bates getting a couple. And it's a second down and nine. No score. We've just begun from Columbus. On the 36-yard line, the Buckeyes in possession. Tom Zach getting a rush. And he is down at the 28 or 29-yard line. Dave Strobel. Michigan leading Wisconsin in the second quarter in Ann Arbor with 13 minutes to go in the first half. We'll keep you up to date on the other scores today. Tom Zach, oh, it's a beauty. Right into the arms of the intended receiver. Single man back is Robert Smith, number two. A sprinter out of Texas. Look at this high spiral driving Smith back to the eight-yard line. Look out. He's dangerous. Oh, he is just snagged at the 20-yard line. First down on the 20. Happel to split out to the left. On the delay, it's Owen Gill. Second and seven. Long. Can't find his receiver. Now he has a man at the sideline, but it's too low and out of his reach. Third down, seven. Fake draw, long, plenty of time. Now he set with the seven or eight yard line. Boy, the defensive secondary. Ostrobala. Boy, there's a beautiful kick coming out of that end zone. And it's taken by Mike Lanise. He should join us like Mike Tomzak making his first start today at quarterback for the Buckeyes coming back from a double break in his right leg. Nice hole opens up for Keith Byers and he keeps right on blasting on the 38. A gain of 11 on the play. Byers tries the other side. Stopped by Mike Hooks, number 91. Second down, about six. It's just inside the 35. Nice trap, and Byers gets through it. Drags a man to the 27. Down to the 27 of Iowa. First down. Byers with 22 yards so far in this young afternoon. Woldridge, who has gone in in place of Byers, gets his nose on the 25. Tom Zach obviously calling at the line of scrimmage. He's got his man, and the ball is dropped. Ohio State now with a key play coming up. Eight minutes and ten seconds to go in the first quarter. Tom Zach taking plenty of time on that. He's got his man. It's Chris Carter. Stoops, Hunter, and Creer all ganged up in there, and they try to stop Roman Bates, and coming in from behind is Mike Hooks to do it. The Buckeyes knocking on the door at no score yet. Oh, what a hole it opened, and then all of a sudden it closed on Byers. Third down. And here is Tom Zach hit from behind. Nate Creer grabbed the football, but it is an incomplete. Rich Spangler is three for five for field goals. This one is up from the 22, and it is good. So Spangler has scored his fourth field goal of the season. The clock has stopped on the field, and Ohio State has a 3 to nothing lead. We'll be right back after this message from your local station. So here's Spangler, who put the bucks on the board. A floater comes down to Ronnie Harmon at the, about the eight-yard line, and he slides up to about the 24. And Chuck Long has plenty of time. Down the middle he goes, and he goes to Happel. I don't know whether Happel was the intended receiver in first down on the 40. Iowa trading 3 to nothing in the first quarter. 23-yard field goal by Spangler. 
Nice hole opens up, but Owen Gill tries to blast through into an eye. That's Ronnie Harmon deep. On the fake draw, over the middle to Happel, and he's got it. First down at the 39-yard line. Number two in the nation offensively a year ago, but many of those guys are gone. So they had to revamp the offense, and Owen Gill makes a nice move. Sidesteps two or three people and gets his first down, first and ten. He's got a 6.2 average. Not bad. And Long being chased. Goes to the short man, Ronnie Harmon. He's tough one-on-one. -on -one. Down the sidelines he goes, and he's out of bounds. Life trailing three to nothing. Owen Gill slides outside, and he is down inside the ten. Long keeps, pitches it out. Harmon's trapped. Down he goes at the 12 or 13-yard line. Third down, 11. Check that backfield over. Fakes the draw. Lops it off on the screen to Harmon. Harmon dances around and he is hit hard and slammed to the ground. And now here is Tom Nickel to try a 30-yarder. He's right in the center of the field, as you can see, and he puts it up truly. It's good. And it is three to three in the Woolridge. Ball comes to Woolridge. Oh, look out. He breaks out of the pack. And he has pulled down at midfield. What a great run by John Woolridge. Ohio State with a wide edge. Winning 17 of the last 18 games played between these two teams. Byers on the cut. Finds the hole. Look out. He could go all the way. Touchdown, Byers. 50 yards. Oh, and what a hole between guard and tackle. Wait till you see that on the replay. Scott Zielinski, Kirk Loudermark, Mark Carowitz. Perfect. It only took 10 seconds for the Buckeyes to score. <laughs> 50 yards in 10 seconds. Time out on the field. Ohio State leading 10 to 3, and we'll be right back right after this message from your local station. But in the game a year ago, he had 98 in the first half before he was injured. Short kick. Taken by Robert Smith, and he can move. Look at this hole for him. He'll come to the outside. Before he can get there, though, he is snagged. And Owen Gill is set back directly behind the quarterback. And Long looks to the side. Ronnie Harmon, pull down. Second down and six. Hawkeyes trailing 10-3 here in the first quarter with a minute and a half to go. On the reverse, Harmon threads his way up to about the 29-yard line. He's personal foul against Ohio State. He's been playing on a, an ankle that's been gimpy. First down at the 44. Good protection. And Long rifles it into the arms of Bill Happel and he steps out of bounds. On the draw, it's Owen Gill, and he is hit by Giuliani. Second down and eight. J.C. Love Jordan is going on the lineup. What a hit, and Long turns it out. So there's timeout on the field at the end of the first quarter, and the Buckeyes are out in front by the score of 10-3. to three. Spielman, quite a competitor. It's a third down and three. Oh, a big hit on Chuck Long. Two out of four so far this year uh, coming into this game, and now three out of five. This will be a 53-yard attempt. It's going to be way short. Hardly makes it to the end zone. First and 10 for the Buckeyes, leading 10 to three, just at the start of the second period. lost again and recovered by Paul Hufford at the 24-yard line. Long, a little bit of heat, throws short and complete. And Chuck Long is going to complete passes. However, he's going to complete the passes that we want him to complete, not that he wants to. Fumble and picked up by Ronnie Harmon.
Giuliani chases long and long throws to the end zone. He got it. It's a touchdown. A brilliant catch by J.C. Love Jordan. What a play by Law. It's up and it's good. Let's see if there are any penalty markers. Nope. And it's a brand new ball game. We have 13.43 to go in the first half. And the score is all tied at 10. And we'll be right back after this message from your local station. Short kick. Byers and Woolridge. Woolridge. Good hole. Oh, he almost got loose again. So the Buckeyes with 13.36 to go in the first half find themselves in a tie ball game now after leading 10 to 3. Two of their leads have been wiped out. However, they've never been behind. Just a blast through the left side. Second down, about six. The ball on the 38. Fires the only back behind the quarterback. Tom Zack getting some heat. Throws it. It's caught. Ed Taggart, the tight end at the 48-yard line, and Keith Hunter's right on his back. It's the first down. Groza goes in at tight end for the Bucks. Tom Zack on the delay to Byers. Hits head-on at the line of scrimmage. Ken Sims has come in defensively as the left cornerback. Tom Zack with plenty of time. Rifles it. Caught by Taggart once again. Third down. And three. Tom Zack. Throws it, crossing pattern to Myers. First down at the 26. Keith Hunter brings him down. Quick pitch. And Woolridge is upset at the 23-yard. Byers gets the first down inside the 15-yard line. Eight carries, 83 yards, and a 50-yard touchdown. Doug Smith in motion. Hand off to Byers. Good ankle tackle right at the line of scrimmage. The best record of any coach active in the Big Ten in the last five years. Tom Zack throws across the middle. It is incomplete. Tom Zack. Good protection in the cup. Hits Byers. Touchdown. Keith Byers seeped inside the secondary and scores his second touchdown of the afternoon. In the same corner, he got a touchdown a week ago. They may call it Byers Corner. That's a Byers market, I'll tell you. Woo! But again, he adjusts. It's a 10 game. And as Spangler puts his foot into it, he makes it 17. So timeout, 9.07 to go in this first half. The Buckeyes have scored to make it 17 to 10, and we'll be right back after this message from your local station. Nine minutes and seven seconds to go in the first half. A 17 to 10 game. And here's the boot by Spangler. It'll be high and it'll be deep. Robert Smith will not run it out. Owen Gill doesn't find much as Johnson. Ohio State leading 10, uh, 17 to 10. Incomplete. Intended for Quinn Early. In total yardage, Ohio State has 170 to this moment, and Iowa 107. Intercepted on the deflection, and it's Larry Kolick. He goes all the way for a score. say Larry Kolick has come back in style at Ohio State. It's good. And so the Buckeyes have a 14-point lead. Olympic gold medalist in springboard and also in platform. Ball hits and goes out of the end zone. And J.C. Love Jordan, who has Iowa's only touchdown, is out on the right side. Long throws to Happel, out of bounds. The 29. Ronnie Harmon, pretty good change of direction there when he saw his path was blocked. It's been a brilliant first half. 
fumble. And it's covered by the Buckeyes. Chuck Long on the exchange, I believe. The Hawkeyes have fumbled the ball. Byers throws a long pass. Lanise catches touchdown. What else can he do? <laughs> well, I saw him sweep in the stadium yesterday, but other than that, I want to compliment the Ohio State offensive coaches. After a turnover like that, Iowa is down. Their defense is thinking we're back out on the field again. They come out. They're ready to go after Byers. Score to me. And the extra point is up by Spangler. It's good. They're holding off on the uh, call. Now they say it's all right. There was a, uh, I thought there might have been a marker down. Ohio State now has 205 yards total offense to 123 for Iowa. Another deep kick. This will carry out and will come to the 30 now. The new rule this year says that if the ball goes out over the end line on the fly, the receiving team will get it 10 yards farther up the field. In fact, the final, it's only 3 o'clock Eastern time. So hold off on that. It is 13 to 12 Temple, but whether it's a final or not, there's a deflected pass that goes into the arms of Owen Gill. And the Hawkeyes get a break for 16 yards. Armin next to him. Chuck Long over the middle. He's got Gill this time, and it's close to a first down as Gill is still on his feet. Down the sideline. Good block, and he's cutting inside, and he fumbled the ball right into the arms of Sonny Gordon. Seven oh eight to go in the first half, and the Bucks have the ball in their own 15. Grinding it forward to about the 20. With six and a half minutes to go. Not much of a hole there on the Going to be 21 down at halftime is going to be a big burden. Byers seeps inside. He may have gotten the first down. 21 point lead. The Buckeyes now give the ball up. Oh, what a kick. That sends Smith way back to about the five yard line. And down he goes at the 14. Look at Wisconsin last week against Missouri, down 28 to 7, and they went at 35 34. Ronnie Harmon scoots outside. Pretty good stop uh, by Greg Rogan to reach one of those. There's your 21 points. Nice hole opens up and a first down by Ronnie Harmon. Ohio State playing a little softer now. And Gill completes that one. Four minutes to go in the first half. On the draw, Ronnie Harmon. Good play, good hole. First down and he blasts it into the, about the 39-yard line. First and 10 on the 39-yard line. Ohio State leading 31 to 10. Harmon again has a good opening on the left side of the line and struggles to the 30. Second down, two for the Hawkeyes, trailing by 21 points. On the fake draw now, Long has plenty of time. Throws it deep. Man is alone in the end zone. Touchdown to Flag. Mike Flagg, the tight end, had gotten deep in the end zone. Terry White was standing there and was absolutely helpless to get to him. I believe Terry White just left him. And the extra point is good by Tom Nickel to make the score 31 to 17. Yep, they kick it short. And it's hard to handle. Picked up by one of the short men. That's Pitch to Byers. Strobel contains it well. And getting the punt. Good opening for Byers. He staggers forward short of the first down. Lanise is in motion. Look at Byers. Goes outside. No, good fake, and it's Strobel on the quarterback. Look at this one. Smith has to back up for it at the 22. Ooh, big hit. But they have their timeouts. I would say one of these times they're going to take the ball and take it right in the inside. Look at this. Ronnie Harmon on the draw. And he runs out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Mike Flagg, who has just scored the most recent Iowa touchdown, split out. Long throws to Harmon. Harmon goes out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Owen Gill on the draw. Runs into his own man. And gets it inside the 30. Good plays. 
Long looks to the sidelines and throws it out of bounds. By Nickel accounts for the 17 points. Procedure. Somebody move. Out of time for Long over the middle. And it's complete to the 25-yard line of Bill Happel. Pretty soft on the defense, and now it closes on him, and Long spins around and is knocked down at the 23-yard line. Classic holding, and Nickel will try into the wind. And he's got enough foot. It hangs up there. Looks pretty good. It is. Tom Nickel has given the Hawkeyes their 20th point. And again, they try to squib it. Barry Walker dives on it at the 22-yard line. And they just wedge it into the line to eat up the final seconds. I think you're going to hear quite an ovation for both of these teams as they leave the field at halftime. It's been a brilliant display of Big Ten football. So that's the end of the first half. And the score is Ohio State 31, Iowa 20. We'll return with our halftime activities on this Sports View Big Ten Football Network. Here's Spangler's kick. Ronnie Harmon and Smith are back. That's Smith waiting for it in the end zone. He will not run it out. Probably had a little lecture at halftime. Here's Long on first play. Down the middle, it's almost picked off. On the delay. A little draw play, and Ronnie Harmon gets the most out of it. Third down. Oh, a lot of pressure. He had to go all the way back to the three-yard line. Deep for the Buckeyes, Mike Lanise. Mike Lanise is deep out of the punt by Costruballa. You will see beginning at 8 Eastern time. Tomzak stumbled for a moment there, but recovered enough to throw to Byers at the 40-yard line. Spitzig right on his back. Mary Station, an academic All-American. Second down, four. Again on the delay, ball was bobbled just for a second. Tomzak, Byers, Bates, Lanise, Taggart, and Holland. Lotter, Merkleshe, Zelensky, Graves, and Karowitz up front. A veteran offensive line. Byers tries to go outside. They miss him. Good lateral coverage. Oh, what a kick. This one turns over and will go into the end zone. Ronnie Harmon. Thank you very much. High with a second and seven. Big heat put on long, and he's pulled down at the eight-yard line. Iowa trailing here in the third quarter by 11. On the draw, Ronnie Harmon is snagged, still manages to get up to about the nine-yard line. 11-33, the second largest crowd in the history of this great old horseshoe. High kick, bobbled, and it's a loose ball covered by Iowa. Mike Lanise could not find a firm grasp on the ball. Long looks downfield, pumps short, throws short, sideline. He's got Hayes. Oh, and he dropped the ball. 31 to 20 is the score, Ohio State. Long on the run, has his men, but it is out of bounds at the 40. They're going to call it complete to Happel in the right-hand corner of the south end zone. Moving quickly through the line is Ronnie Harmon. Both have had to be in the lineup all the time today. Whew. I guess I'd change my direction if I saw Daryl Lee. At... Crossbuck. Gill weaves his way through. Beautiful running by Owen Gill. He looked like a reed in the wind. Ronnie Harmon changes direction. Gets his nose on the 21 before Byron Lee buttons him down. Second and eight. Long throws over the middle. Complete to J.C. Love Jordan at the 16-yard line. The lead man in the eye. Lays the block for Harmon. Harmon breaks loose. And he skids to the ground at the 8-yard line. Now Gill has gone back in. He's the lead man. He slipped the ball to Harmon. 
He hits a stone wall at the seven yard line. He really knows how to read the defenses. Slips the ball to Ronnie Harmon. He slides to the, about the three and a half or four yard line. We're in the third quarter with 5.51 to play and the Hawks are trailing. Power eye in the backfield as Senate has gone in. Long shuttles across. He is snagged. Eddie Polite. Long blasts it in for the touchdown. A great call by Chuck Long. And he has given the Hawkeyes their 26th point. And it is silence on the other side of the field, except in the Iowa cheering section. Boy, what a nice hole between guard and center. Uh, two fullbacks, actually, Owen Gill and Senate, and he's got Ronnie Harmon behind him. Senate in motion. Pitch to Harmon. Gonna throw a lob pass. It is incomplete. The intended receiver fell down. Michigan defeated Wisconsin 17 to 14. Goes to Byers, has a little bit of trouble handling it, up to the 10. Ooh, look out if he gets loose. They take him to the sidelines. And Sims puts him out of bounds. 15 more yards to it, and Ohio State is in Iowa territory. Put up, big return, Keith Byers. Tom Zach rifles one out to Taggart, too far, having given it up on the turnover. Now Byers on the delay, grinds it forward to about the 45-yard line, 125 by rushing. And Ohio State, 227. Tom Zach turns and throws to the sideline. It is going to be an interference call. Carter caught the ball. Keith Hunter was on his back. A little extra yards. Yeah, just about on the 30 instead of the 32. Woolrich, the second man through. That's five. Five quickly. These complex offenses, don't you, Rick? Oh, no, you sure do. Fires outside. Strobel chasing him. Stoops, hooks, everybody trying to get in on him. Lanise goes in motion. The Bucks have the ball on the 24-yard line of the Hawkeyes. Tom Zach throws it. Completed to Carter. He is down for a first down. Mike Tom Zach has played all the way today at quarterback. Making his first start since the Fiesta Bowl. Fires grinds it and bangs heads at the seven-yard line. Second down, three. Woolridge. He's hit hard by Larry Station. John. Here's Byers, touchdown. No question about that one. Once he got loose at the line of scrimmage, he just bolted into the end zone for his second running touchdown of the day, his third TD of the afternoon. Nine straight games that Byers has scored two touchdowns or more. And Spangler's kick is up, and it is good. It is now 38 for Ohio State, and I was 26, and the fans are loving every minute of this offensive display. An 11-point lead at halftime. The missed try for two accounts for the difference in the touchdown exchange. Ball goes into the end zone. First and ten, Chuck Long gives it off to Gill. Has to fight for four yards. Oh, big hit. Number 95 coming through there was Darrell Lee. 38-26, and we'll be right back after this message. This is Bill Fleming. Well, it really changed in the second half of the second quarter. I believe that did it. Yeah. Tom Zach unloads it to Byers. Double teaming him, and that's about the only way to stop him. We have 13 minutes, 19 seconds to play. I don't know, a busted play, but uh, something happened there. And, and Purdue in the third quarter, 17-3 over Minnesota. Good faking by Tom Zach, and he pours it in there to Smith. However, he trapped the ball. Tom Zach would be able to be out here. Just a great recovery. Tom Zach getting a pretty good rush, turns around and throws it. Yeah, kicks it rather low. It'll bounce and go out of bounds. Inside the 20. Whole 
Hold. Post scrimmage kick Iowa enforcement penalty. spot Hold. against the Halt White. First down. Two touchdown passes, one by running. Oh, there's nothing doing there. J.C. Love Jordan is out wide to the right. And Long backs up. He'll pass from his end zone. Ooh, we barely got that one off to Owen Gill. Big play for the Hawkeyes. 11 minutes to go in the game. They're trailing by 12. On the draw. Harmon has the first down. And then some. Up to the 32-yard line as first down on the 32. Love Jordan and Happel are split on the same side. Rambling through is Owen Gill for five. They've already lost Bush. He didn't even make the trip. Senate has gone in at fullback. And Long can't find anybody. And manages to get out of the grasp of one player and right into the arms of Cumro. He unloads it to John Hayes out of out. He's 18 out of 27 today for 241 yards. Owen Gill dances his way to a first down at the 46-yard line. Oh. Iowa has nearly 400 yards total offense, 399 on the nose. Long looks. He's hit. Number 98 is Thomas Pepper Johnson. 31 to 20 was the score at halftime. On the delay and draw, it's Ronnie Harmon. Skips his way to about the 40-yard line. Long looks. Throws to the sideline, but it's much too high. Kick Castroballa normally does. But uh, Nickel has a knack of being able to kick high, and boy, he almost did it. Two tight ends, Taggart and Groza. And Byers is given the ball as it just grinds it forward for three or four yards. Time's out. Over the middle's got Byers. Oh, the people just bounce off it. <laughs> Georgia could beat Clemson and would beat We Clemson. have a hold on the offense. Second down. Seven, uh, second and 17 is the count. Lanise in motion. From the six, Tom Zach rifles it right into the arms of Carter, and he's out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Purdue at Michigan State, and then the week after that, it's Michigan and Michigan State from Ann Arbor. Tom Zach pours it in there to Lanise, and he's got it at the 36-yard line. Six minutes and a half to go. Good shot at Tom Zach there as he calls the audible. Oh, the hole that opens up for Byers. He's thrown for a pass for 35 yards, and that was a touchdown. He's received three passes for 38 yards and a touchdown. And he stopped here for no game. 38-26 is the score. And Tom Zach throws it. He's got Lanise for the first down. Tom Zach is 13 out of 19. Fakes it short and goes long. And it is just off the fingertips. Played extremely well. Over the middle, he's got Byers for about four or five. Third and five. The Hawks can stop him here. They certainly will force the punt. And the pressure goes on Tom Zach. He throws it wildly out of bounds this year. Tupa. Puts a high floating kick. Comes down to Robert Smith, takes it, and runs out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. They lost a tough one to Syracuse on the last play. He'd like to have this one against Indiana. Three and a half minutes to go, and Long pours it over the middle. It is intercepted. Pepper Johnson has got the ball and still on his feet. Out of bounds he goes at the 19-yard line, and for the second week in a row, well, well, they penalize him down. Either. Dead ball, personal foul. First and goal to go. Ohio State leading 38-26. The Bucks have the ball with Byers grinding it out to about the eight-yard line. Pitch to Byers. Waits for the blocks and coming in from behind making a good stop was George Little. The ball is resting on the six-yard line. One minute and 46 seconds to go and the Buckeyes lead by 12. End around to Lanise. He's got blockers. Cuts inside, touchdown. Now that doesn't. Well, you got to be impressed with the Ohio State offense. 44 points last week. There's the 45th point this week. That's not bad. 89 points in two weeks while allowing the opposition only 26. We'll be right back after this. The 
These two teams have played their hearts out. And the kick goes to Iowa. Ronnie Harmon. Boy, what a game he's played. He is an untired player. And it's 45 to 26, Ohio State. Ronnie Harmon. Tries to find a little opening, and he does. First down. Chuck Long has to throw to the short man, Tim Sennett. This game has gone to Ohio State, but don't forget the Hawks are still going to be very much in the running. Beauty to Happel. First down on the 45-yard line. Clock moving now with 25 seconds to go. 45-26, Ohio State's won this one. And Long puts it downfield. Oh, Harmon takes a real pop. Ohio State posting its first Big Ten win of the season against the tough Iowa Hawkeye team. Pass to Senate. And the clock keeps moving now with nine, eight, seven, six, five. And they're just going to let it run out. It's all over. And the Buckeyes win it and win it big with 45 points on the scoreboard. Aiden Fry will come over and seek out Earl Bruce. This is Bill Fleming along with Rick Forzano and Jim Bonds thanking you for joining us today. We invite you to join us next week for the Big Ten game between the Boilermakers of Purdue and the Spartans of Michigan State. That'll be at 3.30 Eastern time. This has been a Sports View production.